It um, seems as though she had been posting some videos. I mean, this is a woman that's deeply unwell um, and clearly needs some help. Um, I, you know, I, and her kind of fixation has lasted for several years now. Um, you know, it's at this point, I think, the 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 depth of that unwellness uh, has raised concerns for other members um, as well, and so you know I think that this is a, an assessment that needs to be made by the proper professional. She said she wasn't going to stop debating you when I asked you yesterday yeah. challenging you at debate. Yeah, you know it's um she does keep discussing this, but it's it's not a thing, you know, and so I'm I'm concerned about her perceptions of reality. If it wasn't already obvious that Marjorie Taylor Greene is in over her head, it is now. This is AOC in the aftermath of a since-deleted video from 2019 that's gone viral of Greene and some of her friends stalking AOC's office even before the Georgia Republican was elected. You want to talk to Crazy Ocasio, you come to this little thing and you open it up and you whisper confession into her. Confession This is confession. <laughs> This is, this is Ocasio confession right there. What? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS because I'm a tax-paying citizen of the United States. I'm a woman, I'm a female business owner, and I'm proud to be an American woman. And I do not support your socialist policies, and I do not support your murderous abortion policies. As a mother of three children, I'm appalled at New York's law for abortion, and it needs to end, and it needs to stop now. You're bringing God's judgment on our country, and I'm against it, as well as my friends. So you need to stop being a baby and stop locking your door and come out and face the American citizens that you serve. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap, a little flap. It's kind of like her. She's kind Sad. of She's like, she keeps flapping her gums. And oh, she's like, flappy, flappy. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, each this, one this of is is This is like child games. This is, this is oh, child games. session. Anybody home? <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hashtag, where's AOC? <laughs> I hear you in there. <laughs> This is creepy. It's, it's it hide is, and it's, seek. It's, 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 huh? Hide and seek. It's hide and seek. Tag, you're it. Guess what? You can't stay in there forever. Can you come out and play? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we were, I guess she got the message before we came here. Guys, if you want to come out to yeah. uh, visit the socialist, communist, <laughs> You're, you're a very good artist. I'm, I'm just trying to decorate. You know? This is her book where we sign it. This is her signing book, and I'm just signing it. Yeah. Should we draw a wall? Should we draw a wall? Yeah, Let's yeah. Draw a wall. Where's a, is there another pen? We really want to draw a wall. So let's draw what a wall looks like, everybody. This is a wall. Yeah. Remember when we all watched the Access Hollywood tape and thought no one could ever be as creepy as Donald Trump? Well, yeah. What's especially telling about that video of Marjorie Taylor Greene is that one of the people with her in that video was a friend of hers, a former El Paso congressional candidate and conservative live streamer who, surprise, surprise, was caught on camera inside the Capitol during the January 6th insurrection. Because of course. You could have told me that Tuesday comes after Monday and that would still be more surprising than finding out that Marjorie Taylor Greene's peers were involved in the Capitol insurrection. Consider too, the day that this video of Marjorie Taylor Greene was taken, February 22nd, 2019, was the same day that she brought a petition to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office accusing her of treason and suggesting that she should be executed for her purported crimes. And while that alone is evidence of just how depraved she is, this wasn't even the first time that Greene's indicated support for having Democrats executed. She's called for the same against Obama, Hillary Clinton, John Kerry, Maxine Waters, and FBI agents. But if you thought that Green's field trip to the Capitol ended with just one death threat and in an instance of stalking a member of Congress, 
you'd be wrong. She also visited the offices of then-freshman lawmakers Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, accusing them of not being official members of Congress because the two Muslim representatives had been sworn in on Qurans, which Green unilaterally decided was disqualifying. Overall, her visit was as busy as it was cringeworthy. Consider too, if the roles were reversed and it was AOC caught on camera leaving creepy, threatening demands to a Republican lawmaker to come out of her office, we wouldn't hear the end of it. Right-wing media would wail about it on an endless loop. They would reconfigure their entire programming schedule. Tucker Carlson would be given another hour dedicated solely to this. I mean, they made the fake cancellation of Dr. Seuss a two-week-long story. You'd think that if the roles were reversed and AOC was caught saying what Marjorie Taylor Greene was saying, that it wouldn't be conservative media fodder until at least late fall. And look, while Marjorie Taylor Greene is especially depraved in her own right, the fact is that this kind of behavior is rewarded within the GOP. Republicans watched while Trump used his trollish, conspiratorial, bullying behavior and leveraged it to get elected president. And so now, you have an entire ecosystem of desperate, power-hungry Republicans who are trying to recreate this strategy. And so from Ted Cruz to Jim Jordan to Matt Gates to Marjorie Taylor Greene, this kind of insane behavior isn't a bug, it's a feature. If Washington seems more and more like a circus, that's because half of those who are elected are clowns. But at the end of the day, what Greene should probably know is that she's not getting herself any closer to a debate with AOC by virtue of her stunts or antics, she's just making herself look like a fool. The last thing that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is going to do is legitimize Marjorie Taylor Greene or her disgusting behavior by capitulating or giving her exactly what it is she's looking for. Not only that, but when she was asked about it during the initial clip, really the only thing that AOC was willing to concede was that Greene isn't well, that she likely poses something of a danger to other members too. At this point, I think the the, the depth of that unwellness uh, has raised concerns for other Thank members um, yeah. as well. And so, you know, I think that this is a, an assessment that needs to be made by the proper professional. She said she I should just say, if your goal is to try and challenge someone to manifest into reality this idea that you're equals, and the only thing that other person acknowledges is that there's probably something wrong with you, that's not exactly a win. So at the end of the day, I get that the Georgia Republican fashions herself the AOC of the right, but in reality, she's just positioned herself as someone really, really desperate for attention, and a little bit creepy too when she finally gets it. And yet, at the same time, I guess that does make her a pretty accurate representation of her party, although not exactly in the way she was hoping for. To see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And for a deeper dive, check out my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I discuss the week's top stories and interview major players in the world of politics, like Vice President Kamala Harris, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, Elizabeth Warren, Chuck Schumer, Katie Porter, Pete Buttigieg, Nancy Pelosi, and many more. Again, that's No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, available anywhere you listen to podcasts.